Hey everybody, let's check out our vining plants that have been growing in the garden all summer. So here we've got our birdhouse gourds. I know I've made a couple of videos about these guys this summer. They're doing so well. You can see the plant is uh, just slowly starting to die until these gourds are getting ready as their stem starts to darken and you can see some are already getting brown and moldy perfectly normal that is what we want them to do this time of year so they are starting to season so that we can actually turn them into birdhouses that one's real dark too if you can see it look at all these guys it's just it's just so fun they've done really well this year they really like growing up this old swing set lovely. So over here we've got a loofah plant. We had a big one in the other garden but it has finished producing for the year. You can see these big guys. Check it out. So they've been stealing drinks from the water catchment which is pretty cool. Look at this big monster. Got quite a few. This one's getting really close to ready to pick. Once it turns totally brown, I will pick it. You can see some young ones here. They look like little cucumbers. And at this stage and a little bit larger than this, I hear they're pretty okay to eat taste-wise. They're totally safe to eat any size. I've tried them before and I'm not a huge fan of eating them, but man, they're great for washing. Hi, kitty kitty. So you can see this is the Kawano plant that I put in the ground myself. So just from seed and it is just a wimpy thing. And I'll show you the ones that just came up on their own here in a minute. But it's looking good. I'm excited. We've had a nice long growing season. So these plants are all happy. Let's check on our Kawano patch, see how it's doing. It's late in the game. This is a heat loving plant. Like I have not watered this at all this summer. The whatever rain we've gotten is what it has gotten. And it is just thriving. Everything else is needing several drinks. So we've been picking off this thing all summer long, getting these beautiful Kawanos. And let's see, I mean, we've got lots still coming in. These are green. They can turn bright orange when they're ready to roll. This one's gonna be our next pick, I imagine. This thing is just taken over. And I think I may have said in an earlier video, this was a volunteer plant. So I didn't plant this one. The ones I planted have not come up. So these guys just go where they wanna go. This thing is taken over. This is our chick rearing coop and it has just taken over. We don't have any chicks in here this summer. How fun. Looking good. I want to show you a loofah that is ready to be picked. You can see the stem is nice and brown and the flesh is solid brown versus these bright green ones that are not ready. Let me just pop this baby off, see if I can do it one-handed. Look at all those seeds in there. There's hundreds of seeds in each loofah. So what I like to do is I like to let these dry eh, for 12 hours or so, because they're still just a touch moist, just from being inside that shell. And then I bang them like crazy into the sink and all those seeds come out right into my little sink debris catcher. And then I bag them for next year. 
Nice. And there's a loofah. Start to finish. All right, let's see these seeds come out. I think we've got some more left in there. seeds so they uh, like to float. Just got a little bit more in there. Okay, beautiful. All right, I think we have gotten almost all of them. That's more fly out onto the counter. Let's see here. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I just see a couple of tiny ones in there. There we go. That did it. Beautiful. Our loofah has been seeded. Now, let's get a close-up look and see what we're looking like. Look at all these seeds. There are seeds all up in here. So, this is not even a ton for a loofah. I've had... I've had them with way more. They, they just are so prolific, but it's fabulous. So I hope you enjoyed this. There's the loofahs from start to finish. I normally give these a, just a rinse just to get off any leftover debris, and then they're ready to go.